Hello, hello. How is everybody? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you all here. So oh, fantastic. I can see people still, still jumping in, getting settled. So awesome. Welcome. Welcome to Mastering the Energetics of Momentum, our fourth masterclass as part of our Breakthrough the Money Ceiling Masterclass. Oh, how is everybody feeling? I'm so excited. We've got such an incredible experience for you today and some more prizes to give away. Yay! Welcome everyone who is live with me, either through Facebook or on Zoom or joining us for the replay as well. So I would love to hear your insights, your ahas, your celebrations. Pop them in the comments and in the in the chat. I've loved seeing the breakthroughs that have been coming in. Hashtag daily win. Every time you do a hashtag daily win, we'll pop your name into the draw. We're going to do a big draw tomorrow for our prizes. So excited. We've got some prizes that we're going to draw for today as well. So many prizes. We've covered loads this week. We've covered the art of up-leveling your money consciousness and that the secret is in your identity and that there's two parts to a successful breakthrough. There is the breakthrough and then the up-level and holding it. We've unlocked the secrets of reality creation. We've covered the principles of reality creation. Welcome, everybody. Three secrets in unlocking reality creations, the illusion of self-sabotage, taking full energetic responsibility by flipping the script and how we can unlock the subconscious mind to reveal hidden resistances and channel higher realms of consciousness for your money breakthrough. I love it. Hashtag daily win new client. Yes. Congratulations. You've received an Akashic Record activation yesterday, witnessed and met your future selves. That was so transformational. Who was on the call yesterday or has caught up about um, the masterclass yesterday? And today we are talking about mastering the energetics of momentum for your up level and how you maintain a state of flow so that you are sending out a congruent message in your human Wi-Fi. Every thought, emotion, experience is held in your human Wi-Fi as you're manifesting from your identity. And tomorrow you're going to be, we'll be diving into all your questions being answered. So any questions that you've had for this week, we're gathering them up. And make sure we get them all answered for you tomorrow and we'll be diving into any questions you have about the programs and working together and what the next steps are from this week and again you've got a choice to join us either live on zoom or facebook or watch the replay and in terms of logistics the replays will be available until sunday the 21st and then we'll remove the content this timeline helps you prioritize taking action on this gifted masterclass to you and we, then we continue the momentum with our clients in our program so we'd love for you to be part of that and to do that together so our flow is as follows we're going to be diving into mastering the energetics and momentum and activating and maintaining flow we're going to do some helix method manifesting activations together and then i will take a moment to share more details about the helix method certification program and the akashic record certification program and we would love to have you join us and we've got special masterclass pricing and huge savings for you if you want to snag the juicy bonuses plus um, for the first five people that do want to come and join us and to pay in full, they can have a bonus private one-to-one -one with me. And that's when you pay in full for your program by Tuesday. Um, and we've only got five spots for that. So I know that they will go. So I would love for you to receive one of those. Okay, so prizes. I can see someone say, what do we do about winning prizes? There's so many options for winning prizes. You can, so your name goes into a draw when you share that you've been taking part in the masterclass this week, share your breakthrough, your takeaways. Invite your friends to come and join us. Um, when your friends do come and join us, your name will also go into the draw. So they pop their neck, they say who, who let them know about it when they enter the Facebook group. Your name goes into the draw for the prizes when you share and we see that you've shared. And so if you tag me, then I know that that's happened. And then we are like, oh, okay, we'll pop your name into the, into the draw. We're going to do a draw tomorrow. And um, as well as at the end of today, you get... Put your name put in the drawer when you take action and you tell me your takeaways at the end of each uh, masterclass when you're live with me. 
um, as well. So there's lots and lots of opportunities to, to win prizes. Yes, sharing on social media. So that can be on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, because as you're doing that, you'll be inspiring other people um, as well. So you're sharing the love. So that's um, such a gift in itself as well for people that you're connected with. Alrighty, so at the end of today, I'm going to do a, draw, a prize draw for someone who is on live with us. And we'll do it at the end. So all you have to do is pop your, tell us what your takeaway is at the end. And this is for the Wealth Blueprint Trinity activation in the Akashic Records, where you'll align your Wealth Blueprint and Soul Blueprint, activating quantum leaps in your Wealth Consciousness. Um, so I cannot wait to see who wins this. Um, it is actually three... Um, 75 minute Akashic record activations that you get to receive and to keep. Um, so I'm um, so excited to see who, who wins that. Hello, hello. I can see some more faces joining us. That's so exciting. Welcome. Welcome. You made it live. Alrighty. So as ever, let's just take a moment to set our intention because energy follows intention. So just to gift yourself a nice couple of breaths breathing in grace and love and breathing out all energy that no longer serves. To remind yourself, what is your intention for being here, whether it's live or on the replay? Who are you becoming? How is this masterclass contributing to who you are becoming? What emotions are you feeling in your body right now? Are you noticing any contractions? Just become aware of it. Be in the allowance. Welcome. And then to take a moment and consider, okay, so on a scale of one to 10, how expansive and aligned to my intentions am I feeling right now? Take a moment to become aware. How do you want to feel at the end of our time together? And then pop it in the chat. I'd love to know what's your intention and what's your number? Where are you feeling right now on a scale of one to 10? It's my intention that your energetic vibration is calibrated to your highest frequency for your quantum leap and momentum. You can maintain a state of flow and magnetize money fast. Alrighty, with the numbers are definitely higher than the beginning of the week. This is awesome. Awesome. We're going for gold. I love it. Okay. Numbers are all going to fluctuate. You'll notice that as well. Welcome, welcome. Okay. And I know resistance has bubbled up for people this week as well. And this is completely natural because the moment you stepped into this container, you've you've energetically made a declaration to your subconscious that you wanted more, you wanted an up level. And that's going to naturally start flushing out the beliefs that are there in the subconscious, supporting your current identity that's going to bring them to the forefront. This could have happened in terms of manifesting things that take your focus away from this week or getting distracted in some way or another. Because, of course, as you step out of your comfort zone, out of the identity that you currently hold towards what you want, you trigger your subconscious to start <laughs> screaming at you, giving you all the reasons why not to allow the success in. Oh, yes. So do share what's been coming up. What have you noticed? Because the monkey mind is this is the thing. If your monkey mind is quiet when you're doing your thing, you're not changing anything. But it just starts to step up <laughs> with various versions. It's like it's been down the gym working out. and It's going to give you its best when you step forward and start to step out. Things like. What do you think you're doing? Can you handle this? What if you can't keep this going? What will so-and-so think? What if this happens or that happens or so-and-so turns up? Anyone have a worry about burnout? What if you burn out again? Haven't got time for this. Why don't you just stay where you are? It's pretty good where you are. A version of that. How are you going to manage it? having a physical reaction right now yeah and this is the thing this is where our nervous system our brain is simply trying to keep ourselves ourselves safe and in line with our current set point and our current identity these are just thoughts that are being triggered by your nervous system as you step outside your set point 
don't believe your thoughts. Don't buy these thoughts. Uh, but this is where we can find ourselves putting our foot on the brake. And whenever whenever I step out of my comfort zone or invest in myself and my business at that next level, I feel nervous because I've stepped up. It's completely natural. It's just how we respond that makes a difference, if that makes sense. And we are conditioned to be living life in a certain way from so many things around us, from our programming, our parental programming, ancestral programming, programming, transgenerational programming, societal programming, cultural programming. It goes really, really deep. There's so many layers of this. And we see this in the animal world too. You may have heard me share this um, analogy before, but it's a really good one to help kind of go, okay, I can see where the work is to be done. Because if we think of our often forgotten friends, the fleas, (laughs) but there is, um, and you can see these experiments on YouTube, when fleas are placed into a jar, they try and jump out. But after the lid is placed on, after a time, the fleas stop attempting the escape. So they learn the boundaries of the, the environment that they're in. And here's the thing, when the lid is removed, the fleas never jump out. Their thinking has created the invisible lid as a boundary. And so it's conditioned them to limit their jumping. And it goes deeper because when the fleas produce their their baby fleas, <laughs> their baby fleas follow their example and they'll never jump higher. So we're a little bit like those fleas. <laughs> Our thinking conditions us. So think your thoughts are dynamic forms of electrical waves in your human Wi-Fi. And they create imaginary boundaries and limited ways of thinking that keep us stuck in in a certain way of operating. This is our default set point. And our bodies and our brains want to keep us in line with that familiarity. It's very, very clever. We have, I want to just to share a story. One of our clients, Steph, who has a veterinary medical background and helps healthcare professionals and, and healers manage their stress in their career. And her Her business was effectively a startup at the beginning of the year when we'd started working together and it wasn't making any money. She literally just got started and she did her a five day breakthrough with us. And all of a sudden, just from the five days initially, she had money coming in. So she decided she wanted to break through her income ceiling and she knew she needed to shift something. She didn't know what it was. So she jumped into the wealth portal and her breakthrough came within the 60 days of us working together and She was working through all the resistance and the beliefs and she found something that she just didn't think that she would have at all. She was carrying resistance around being financially responsible for earning money for her family. And she was like, but logically, it just didn't make any sense because she had made the decision to to have this business, to do the very thing that she was resisting. So she was so surprised to find this resistance. We Un- unleashed this cluster of beliefs and uh, the energy around that and within two weeks of changing that vibration and releasing the resistance and her doing the guidance and the activations that we were coaching her to do for herself over the next two weeks she got consistent requests for work that are allowing her to pay her bills two months in advance she was so excited so excited and this is the thing because we can have blind spots and the subconscious is very clever at hiding those blind spots from us so that we can take ourselves out of the game does that make sense have you found that where you're like I was not expecting that one to be there that belief to be there but now I've got that awareness it kind of makes sense one of the things I see a lot of us do is trading with the universe So tell me if this resonates. Have you ever found yourself trading with the universe? It's like you want something big in your life and then you worry that you'll be punished in another area or that something bad's going to happen. So it's like we're trading with the universe. I want this, but actually I want to keep my kids and my partner safe, happy, healthy. So I'll have that, please. or I'll have this, please, instead. I can't have both. That makes sense. So it might be just notice if you can feel this. It's like, well, I want 10. I know I've seen a lot of people saying they want 10K a month. I want 10K a month. And then as long as my kids are safe, I want to have 30K a month as long as I'm not overwhelmed. I want to have 50K a month as long as my expenses don't increase. 
to everything that comes after the as long as I is all the reasons why you don't want it and is the resistance some of the resistance that's coming through slowing down your desires anyone recognize that one and as you've stepped out of your current identity the current upper limit the subconscious is just giving you its best shot to keep that lid well and truly firmly on so it can show up as that I can have this or that I can have love or money I can have health or money it's part of our our upper limit and also where some you know somewhere in the past something good may have happened followed by something bad maybe you got a lump of money and then a family member died or maybe as a child you were on a wait list for your school and you got the place you wanted when a place came available due to another kid you know, passing away. And so what can happen is you start to anticipate the rug being pulled underneath you or something bad happening if you get what you desire. Does that make sense? Does that resonate? So the starting point is to consider, is this uh, the either or game? I can have this or I can have that. I'm only allowed for it to be this good. Or is it I'm afraid that the rug's going to be pulled, which is a trauma response to previous previous experiences? This goes deep. This is the kind of stuff that we unearth in the in the wealth portal. So what's going on energetically as we move towards breaking through that the money ceiling that we want? What's going on energetically as we starting to create momentum? We move towards allowing ourselves to receive more money. You know, just to recap, I spoke to this on Tuesday that everything we're experiencing is because of the energy state that we're in. We're either in contraction or expansion. It's very natural. But if you think of this, we're holding these energy states, all of them at any one moment in time across different aspects of our life. So we have the flow state. This is the one we want to be in. This is where we are in expansion. This is alignment. We're feeling amazing. Everything's effortless. The relationship is thriving. You're feeling fulfilled. You're just thinking of something amazing and then suddenly, poof, it manifests. It's your vibration so high. You're getting all the opportunities that you desire. You're receiving more and more. This is the expansion. This is the flow state. Then we have the resistance. So this is where we're starting to go into that contraction. It feels like we're making progress towards the life goals, but it's feeling hard. You know, that sense of two steps forward, three steps back. You're moving in the right direction, but something's holding you back. Often people will say, I'm just feeling stuck. I don't know what it is. Something's holding me back. It might be you've received more money and then you get sick or you receive more money and then the an unexpected unexpected bill for the exact amount of money suddenly comes in. Or it can show up as you just suddenly lose interest. There's no passion for what you've been doing. You've lost your mojo. You haven't. It's just resistance popping up. And then we have reversals. This is where you are like going backwards. It's just like, oh, my word. Everything just feels like it's gone in reverse. You're going the wrong way. And it can have a huge impact in terms of burning out and impacting all areas of your, you know, your life. This is contraction. And when our energy closes up and our vibration lowers, it's actually harder to, to manifest from this place. Yeah, so it's big. You know, we all know that feeling of being out of alignment and this the sense of contraction. It has a huge impact on our health and our mental health and our, our overall experience of, of life. And this is where, for me, I truly believe the most important thing we can do is to raise our energetic vibration. Let master the energetics. Let our energy do the heavy lifting for us. So we're in each of these states at any moment in time. So we can feel in flow in our business, but then have huge reversals in our relationships. Or we can feel in flow in our cash flow, but reversal in our team members or investors, if that makes sense. We can feel in flow in our business and in our relationships. And then as our business grows, we can break through that ceiling. And then suddenly we feel a reversal in our relationships. I wonder what's going on. Well, the default set points kicked in. And so it's just bringing us back down, our energy back down. Because so, we're always manifesting from our identity, our self-concepts, our beliefs, our patterns, our emotions. And these are all hanging out in our subconscious. The real turning point and the key to the up level is when we can consciously manifest, when we align our different levels of consciousness with consistency, commitment and alignment with our higher self, conscious mind and subconscious mind. We're truly co-creating with the universe. 
So this is the thing to remember. This is a writer, Dana. Everything is energy and how we do one thing is how we do everything. I highly recommend writing that down, just really like letting that land. How we do one thing is how we do everything. And this is why, you know, as we focus on healing our relationship with money and expanding our money consciousness and changing our identity around abundance and wealth and money within the wealth portal, it has an impact on all the other areas of life as well. So we, we heal through the money portal. Money is the portal for growth and our relationships improve. Our relationship with ourselves improves. We have a sense of peace in otherwise stressful situations, situations that previously might have been a trigger that just dissolves and then you're able to maintain that flow state for longer as you're creating a a new set point this is so key when you know how to to change your frequency and vibration you truly do change your experience of of life and we what we want to do is to get all parts of our personal energy field to be more and more of that to be in flow so freeing up that contracted energy that resistant energy the, the, the reversed energy so that we raise our energetic attraction point and as our frequency rises, it affects our speed of, of manifesting. And here's the thing, our environment is a reflection of our beliefs. So this, is, this experience of not being able to break through to that next level is actually a gift of what possible beliefs, memories, experiences are held in the aura that are attracting more of the same. So it's like, oh, isn't this interesting? This is happening. I wonder what <laughs> I've got going on that how I've been calling this in. I've helped so many clients bust through their money ceiling and the crux of it is somewhere in the vast subconscious, they're holding on to the identity, the set of beliefs, emotions, which is informing the actions that they're taking. And so then they continue to attract this same level of of income, the same level of impact that they want to make in their business. I know everyone here has a huge desire to make a difference in this world. And truly, when we raise our money consciousness, we allow ourselves to make a bigger impact. It's really key. It's really key. Just pausing so I can let that one land. And the thing is, the subconscious is going to work really hard to prove itself right. So our beliefs, rather than what we perceive is what's guiding our actions and our behaviours which create our life and the choices that we make. And we have belief clusters. So there's several beliefs that sort of feed off each other energetically. They need each other for survival. This is why when um, someone's feeling stuck and they've done a bunch of belief work, they can feel frustrated and thinking, but I've changed that one belief. We've got a whole load of other beliefs going on. There'll be other beliefs linked to that belief feeding off each other. So it could be that you've just sort of tugged at the surface of it and actually there's a lot more to do. So you can have, you can have dual beliefs. You can believe I already earn good money. I don't really need more. You can believe, but I, I already earn good money and I can't earn more than my husband or my wife or I have enough money coming in. I'm happy with what I've got and I desire more. I can't earn more than my husband. I can't earn more than my parents. I can't outshine my partner, parents, siblings, whoever it may be. I can't charge more than my mentor, who said, or whatever it might be. There'll be other linked beliefs as part of this cluster that are just keeping this thought entity consciousness alive, this pattern of beliefs alive. And this is where having a system to work through is just really helpful because it helps you to fast track that breakthrough because sometimes you don't know what to ask <laughs> how to how to navigate your way through through that belief cluster and the emotional cluster and the energetics of it all so here's the thing manifesting and creating a new reality it's simple but it's not always easy because you're working with the different levels of consciousness and when we're operating only with our conscious mind and our subconscious mind we can be out of alignment with what our, with what our soul truly wants and This is where we can create wonky energy because we're creating from our ego consciousness rather than from our higher self consciousness. So I invite you to see your higher self as the sculptor, who's the artist of possibility, and your human self is the sculpture. And when you operate from this higher level of consciousness, you're able to truly co-create with the universe and open up the fields of possibility beyond what you could have hoped for and dreamed of. 
I really want you to take this away. So I write this one down. You'll see it when you believe it. You'll receive it when you believe it, like full body belief. And I invite you to consider that your eyes and your experiences, what you're seeing or hearing, your experience in this reality is just showing you a past vibration. You can see the comments coming in, things landing. This is awesome. What I'm teaching this week is what I do to sculpt my new reality, bringing myself, my higher self, conscious mind and subconscious into alignment. I'm creating the identity of the me who's already received it, received what I desire, becoming the version of me that allows more overflow in. And our identity is something that we continuously change and grow. We truly can be through the, the vibration of the identity of of who we be, increase our capacity to hold more of an overflow of money, to allow our business to grow, to make a bigger impact. I'll do a little test with you guys now, because many of us hold these beliefs. We're talking about societal programming or parental programming. I know I had this one from my lovely father. I'll believe it when I see it. Did anyone remember someone saying that to them when they were younger? Or now, you might have heard somebody say, I'll believe it when I see it. I'm going to just invite you to do a quick muscle test to see if you actually hold this belief. I'll believe it when I see it. We want to let that one go because it can be creating some wonkiness and some doubt. So we'll... I'll guide you through releasing that imprint in a moment. Just want you to take a moment to think about, okay, so why do you want to break through the money ceiling? Why, why do you want to increase your capacity to hold an overflow of money? I've got some people going, oh no, I've got that belief. But just to take a moment, like why, why, why break through the money ceiling? Why do you want to increase your capacity to hold an overflow of money? Pop it in the comments. Let's witness you. If you're on the replay, pop it in the comments as well. I have a sip of my, my cup of tea before it gets cold. Most successful entrepreneurs will say, yeah, freedom, freedom and peace of mind. And being able to live at the fullest self-expression, to be able to be more of you, instead of worrying about money or whatever it might be, you're able to focus on other things. You've got more choice, more time, able to focus on your purpose, making an impact. Does that resonate? So you can increase your capacity to receive when you become an energetic match and when you'll believe it, you'll receive it. And something to really embody on your manifesting journey. I'll see it when I believe it. And so this is why our Helix Method Manifesting Ritual takes you through and what we do in the Wealth Portal. It's so powerful so you embody your identity and believe it. And you can maintain that flow state so that your energetic vibration creates that momentum. All right, we're going to continue building on what we started at the beginning of this week this week is is effectively week one of the wealth portal so i'm so excited that you're getting to experience this right now i'm going to guide you through what we're going to do together and uh you've all got your document from this week which is the process i'm going to just um the helix method manifesting ritual i'm going to just pop it below in the chat just in case you haven't managed to grab it I'm going to guide you through anyway, but I just wanted, I know some people like to kind of read at the same time, follow along. All righty. Okay. So let's take a moment to activate that connection with your higher self. And then we're going to do the clearing around the, I'll believe it when I see it. Okay. So just becoming aware of your heart space and your higher self, your soul star chakra, that beautiful blue pearl above your head, 18 inches above your head. I'm just going to invite you to breathe in for four, breathe out for four, 
And then to set the intention, I'm activating my higher self, that connection with my higher self. We're going to increase our life force energy by breathing in for four, holding for four, and breathing out for eight. I'm going to just invite you to do this three times at your own pace, at your own breath rhythm. And then saying, speaking to all levels of my consciousness, I'm creating a clear channel of communication, manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self. They are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Already so. From this space, we're just going to clear this imprint. So just inviting you to now breathe in for four and breathe out for four, bringing your awareness to your heart center. And then just to say out loud so your consciousness can hear your voice saying this, I transmute this belief imprint. I'll believe it when I see it. I transmute this across all levels of belief, dimension, Plane, times, levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Just notice how this is showing up in your field. Any energy moving, tingling sensations going on. And then silently say, as you can focus on the rhythm of your breath, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. I transmute this belief imprint. I'll believe it when I see it. I transmute this across all levels of belief, dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Breathing in grace and love. Breathing out all energies that no longer serve. One more time internally. I transmute this belief imprint. I'll believe it when I see it. I transmute this across all levels of belief, dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Take a nice deep breath in and out. Okay, let's activate more belief so we can really ramp up the energy around this. So I'm going to invite you to tune into the feeling of love. So to remember a time when you felt really loved. And I want your heart chakra to feel really activated. So I'm going to pop some instrumental music on in the background that's going to support you really feeling into the emotions. Now we're going to imprint this new belief that I will see it when I believe it. I receive it when I believe it. I'm co-creating in the universe. I have faith in the universe. I have faith in me. So what we're going to do is I'm going to let me pop this in the chat so you can feel this. Ah, awesome. We've got some energy shifting. I can see that. So exciting. Alrighty. So I'm going to, where's my computer audio? Okay. So you can hear. Alrighty. Where's my music? Okay. So I want you to or let's do this for two minutes just to simply say to yourself that following phrase. I'll see it when I believe it. I receive it when I believe it. I'm co-creating the universe. I have faith in the universe. I have faith in me. And as you hear yourself saying those words in your head, just to really allow your heart chakra to get bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. The feeling that you're feeling as you're thinking these thoughts is really key. I'm going to just pop on some heart chakra expanding music and I'll give you a heads up when we've done two minutes together.
How's everybody feeling? Feeling into what that feels like to have your faith and certainty in the universe and yourself activated. Let's continue with these activations and these inner rewiring. So I'm going to invite you to repeat internally as you fill up your heart with love. I've just now received over whatever the amount is you're calling in. I'm using the example 20,000 with easy speed. And then how do you feel? I feel amazing. I feel excited. I feel happy. I feel relief. I feel successful, however you feel. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. See the money in your mind's eye coming into your bank account or into your Stripe account, however you receive money. And then see yourself doing the thing that you wanted to do with the money. Is it savings in your account? Is it an investment in something? Is it an extension for something? Whatever it's for. Just taking two minutes to do this imprinting. We'll do this together now. Beautiful. As you are coming back together from this space, I'm going to invite you to say out loud, and I've popped this in the chat for you. I am empowered. I trust myself. I allow it to be easy. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness, and beyond. If it resonates more for you, you can say, I'm ready to be empowered. I'm ready to trust myself. I'm ready to allow it to be easy. I'm going to invite you to really feel into allowing your heart chakra to get bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. To feel your heart chakra filling up with light, white, green light. It's getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. And to say this out loud, you can either have your hands on your heart or your arms up in the air. Just do whatever feels right for you. Saying this out loud, I am empowered. I trust myself. I allow it to be easy. Across all dimensions, planes, times and all levels of consciousness. Breathing in, breathing out. And then saying this internally so you can focus on the rhythm of your breath as you breathe in for four and breathe out for four. I'll say it out loud so you can follow along. I am empowered. I trust myself. I allow it to be easy across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four. Breathing out for four. I am empowered. I trust myself. I allow it to be easy 
across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Breathing in grace and love, breathing out all energies that no longer serve. Notice how you're feeling. If you've had your arms in the air, just bring them down slowly. Observe what feels different. Any tingling sensations in your body. How's your heart chakra feeling? Continue breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Keeping your heart into coherence, in coherence. And then living in the energy of the question of, it's already complete. Why am I surrounded by love and abundance? Why do large sums of money continuously come to me so easily and quickly? So you're asking the question, your future self's asking like, wow, this is amazing. Just breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Just allow yourself to sit in the energy of these questions. And just see if any inspired ideas come to you in this now moment. Know that they will come. Good to listen to the soft whisper of your soul. Beautiful. And just to notice. Any ideas, inspired actions that you can take? And as you're in this energy, just to share these ideas, you can see what resonates. You know, to think of how many sales of the products or services that you offer would make up the amount you're calling in. How many lives would change as a result of that impact? What action are you taking to make the manifesting inevitable? Have you reached out to five people every day this week? Leading with love, go give her energy. What would love do? Where can you give a gift in secret? You know, doing someone a favor without them knowing who did it. Where can you be the vehicle for the universe? Give something that will help someone believe and know that good things happen. Could you send cash to someone you know who needs it? Could you pay for someone's coffee in the queue behind you and then disappear before they see you? Energetically, there's loads going on with things done in secret are often bad. So we can change the energy around secrecy. We can secretly do good things like anonymous giving. We're reclaiming secrecy and using it for good. And giving without the ego being able to take any credit for it as well. One of our lovely clients leaves two pound coins deliberately on the floor in Tesco's for people to find and pick up, which I just absolutely love. And as you elevate your consciousness, it opens up your frequency to more information and you'll start to receive more ideas, bigger ideas to support you on your journey. It really is that giving and receiving really is an infinite loop as you give without attachment. You will receive. It might not come from the person you gave to, but you will receive. So can you reach out and invite five people to work with you? And it may be circling back to people who've inquired before, touching base to see if they'd like your support in reaching their goals so they can get there quicker. Might be inviting new people to work with you. Who's in your field now window shopping? Let's set the intention that your window shoppers step forward immediately and shop for themselves and their future selves with you now. I know I love the two pound thing as well. Yeah. 
I mean, who, who's going to the supermarket today? Going to leave some some quids or dollars if you're in a, dollars your currency on the floor tomorrow? Yeah. So fun. And I invite you tonight to continue your manifesting. So as you're going to sleep, to imprint on your subconscious mind. Why am I surrounded by love and abundance? Why do large sums of money continuously come to me so easily? Just repeat it 10 times as you're going to sleep. And then tomorrow morning, I really encourage you to, to do this every day this week. At the same time, building up that habit. And maybe when you've just woken up, you're in bed, connect with your manifested scene. See in your mind's eye, I've just now received 20,000. I feel so amazing. All the feels, I feel excited, I feel happy. And keep sharing your daily wins in the group. They can be opportunities that you've had, cash, bonuses, insights, ahas, it all counts. Let us celebrate with you and you know, our, our observing of your shift, it adds momentum to it and it allows everyone to be in the frequency of success. It all counts. Alrighty, so I would love to know what has been your biggest takeaway from today. This is so that you can really anchor it in and embody it. And to notice how expansive you're feeling and align to your intention. So on a scale of one to 10, where would you say that you are? Yay. That's so exciting. Congratulations. Alrighty. Yeah, money is the portal of growth. So beautiful. This is fantastic. Alrighty. So as you're popping in your takeaways and your what number you're on, you've got eights, you've got tens, you've got sevens. This is exciting. I can always trust myself in making decisions. Yes. Yes. You're at 11. Yes. I love it. <laughs> we'll, we'll take that. We like 11s. <laughs> That's so awesome. So, so awesome. All righty. I would love to invite you to continue the momentum that you've started this week. And if you've loved this week, I know you will love our programs. We would love to have you with us uh, for you to have the results that you desire. So I'm going to just take a moment to share a little bit about the programs and who they're for. So you can tune in and see what feels aligned for you. And then we can get you set up for success. And if you're hearing this for the first time, then I'm just going to briefly introduce you to the different ways that you can continue um, working with me and just see which one resonates for you. But there's four ways that you can continue your journey with us. So then we've got the wealth portal. So this is for entrepreneurs and coaches where you'll break through your money ceiling in 60 days or less and be supported in holding the up level. We've got the Infinite Prosperity Collective, which is our six figure um, business mastermind for coaches, healers and mentors, where you'll learn how to create a sustainable, profitable business so you can make a bigger impact with your work. And yesterday I gave an overview of the Wealth Portal and IPC. That's the Infinite Prosperity Collective. We call it IPC. And I'll give you a re recap of all the programs tomorrow as well and answer any questions that you have. But today I just wanted to give you a, a brief overview just to touch on this of our certification programs. So we have the Helix Method Certification Program. So this is for leaders, coaches, creative healers. We're teaching them how to build and make a bigger impact, helping them to and their clients to master energetic alignment and reality creation so you can have those predictable results anytime that you want without having to spend hours and hours and writing up case studies and writing theses and all the things. So together, you'll master energy psychology with a complete toolkit and framework that you can use with your clients within 60 days or less. So you can rapidly create change in your clients and increase your monthly revenue. So this is for you if you want to help your clients with energetics, energy alignment and manifesting so that they can have the quantum leaps in life. And I'm going to I'll give you everything that you need to create that rapid transformation for your clients right now, including you have immediate access to the training content. I'll show you exactly what to focus on straight away. 
And you have access to me for all alignment and manifesting questions that you have coming up with in relation to your clients. You'll be trauma informed as well. So you can support your clients within your professional capacity and your boundaries, of course. And you can tap into my wisdom as you work with your clients. So you are fully supported and you know that you can handle anything energetic that your client brings. And you have lifetime access to our membership site with all the training, the blueprints, the activations so that you can start to raise your client's frequency in 60 days or less. And I've really noticed that there is a huge demand for energy healers, law of attraction coaches and manifesting experts right now. So it's a super exciting time. And uh, when you join the Helix Method, the Helix, you in registering for the Helix Method, you automatically receive the license to deliver free programs upon your certification within your business. And the programs are already created so that you can literally deliver them straight away or you can add them to other, to other offerings. And they cover the prosperity codes of self-love and confidence, health and well-being and your and your wealth consciousness. And you're eligible to join the International Practitioners of Holistic Medicine. So we are a certified training provider um, by the International Practitioners of Holistic uh, Medicine. So once you've completed your training, you're then eligible to join. Um, their initials are IPHM and receive all of their amazing benefits, including worldwide recognition as an accredited uh, approved therapist and you can be listed on their website and you know they have a huge um, audience as well so incredible stuff so just dm me to let me know that you're interested and we'll take it from there and we'll get all the details over to you and the akashic record certification program so just to touch on that one with the soul journeys method so this is where it's a three level training and it's designed to teach you how to instantly access and channel your own akashic record um, so that you can access limitless divine guidance and energy healing. So you understand the nature of your soul, the power of the Akashic records, being able to align to your soul purpose and accelerate your soul mastery and activate your divine gifts and, and co-creative abilities. And you can choose to join us for level one immersion where you're accessing your own records um, only. Um, it's not a requirement that you go on to the other levels, but of course, if you feel called to up level to read records for others and to channel the Akashic records for others then you will need to complete all three levels and as soon as you say yes you receive instant access to the Akashic records on demand digital program for your chosen levels um, you can which is a recording of our most recent live training and you also receive instant access to our private Facebook groups so you can dive into the recordings prior to your live experience you're able to network find practice partners um, and all the things and you'll also receive um, 12 months of live support and access to me as well. And then you are able to join us uh, during the, the 12 months at our live immersions as well. So you're fully supported and you've always got your questions answered as well. And just as a heads up, our next live events are in October. So you've got time to, to dive into the content and get the dates in the diary for those ones. So just reach out in DMs and let me know if you'd like the info on the Helix Method or the Akashic Records, or we have our certification bundle if you want to do both this year. Um, and then we'll have a chat in Messenger. Make sure it's a fit and we'll get all the details over to you so you can read through whilst you're in your own energy. And then just let me know if you're in or out or if you've got a question. Nice and simple. Alrighty. And uh, so, oh, the other thing I wanted to say, thank you so much for letting me share that. I'm so excited. I can see people saying, oh. Sounds amazing. Fantastic. So, yeah, just reach out. And let me know if you would like the information and I will um, in DMs and then I will circle back and uh, we'll have a chat. I would also be very grateful for your feedback in our survey. So I'm going to just pop the survey here um, just to make sure everyone's clocked it because this helps me shape masterclasses moving forward. All righty. So let's see thank you so much for that Alrighty, so let's see has everybody done their takeaway because we're going to do the prize draw now yes it's the same survey posted in the group it's just not everyone's filled it in yet so it'd be great to great to have that fantastic so let's see Alrighty. Okay, fantastic. Let's do the prize draw. So I'm just <laughs> give you numbers <laughs> of where you've posted your takeaway. So I'm just figuring out who's won. Alrighty, okay. So the prize draw is for the wealth 
blueprint activation in the Akashic Records Trinity, where you're aligning your wealth blueprint and soul blueprint, activating quantum leaps in your wealth consciousness. So the winner is, are you ready? Drum roll. The winner is Jay Johnson. Congratulations, Jay. I'm so excited for you. This is truly, truly exciting. Uh, you're going to absolutely love it. So huge congratulations. Thank you, everybody, for sharing all your takeaways um, and for all your all your shares and uh, inspiration and love and contribution to each other. Remember tonight to be doing your manifesting as you're going, as you're going off to sleep and when you're waking up in the morning imprinting your I've just now received over 20,000, whatever the amount is, to reach out to five people, ask how they're doing, see if you can help them, see how they're, what their goals are, do they want to go deeper with you. Bring forward any questions that have bubbled up over the week. Um, do pop them in the Facebook group, hashtag question. So we can gather them up and make sure we get them all answered for you tomorrow. We're back tomorrow at the normal time at uh, two o'clock UK time. And we'll get all your questions answered in terms of the content that we've covered this week. And then also any questions that you may have about the, uh, the program so that you can make an aligned decision. Alrighty, then we've got spaciousness over the weekend to integrate. So you can revisit the replays, continue doing your activations and uh, creating the momentum. Um, but and then the content is up until Sunday the 21st for you. So be back here tomorrow to get your questions answered. So many times people won't know that they had a question until someone else asks it. And you'll be like, oh, yeah, I wanted to know that too. So I really invite you to tune in to what everybody's asking. Alrighty, sending you loads and loads of love. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a fabulous rest of your day. Take care. Lots of love.